Welcome back, everybody. All week long, we've been showcasing different jobs on the garden aisle. Now, today, John takes working for Kauai to a new level when he visits Kauai Coffee Company. Take a look. We're at the Kauai Coffee Company. We're looking for Fred and Donna. We're talking about job opportunities. Let's go look for them. So great to be able to visit you guys here on Kauai. Fred, Donna, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Would you mind giving our viewers a brief history of the Kauai Coffee Company? Sure. We're standing on uh, land here that used to be McBride Sugar. They began converting out of sugar into coffee in the mid 80s. And in 1994 was their last sugar production. And now it's uh, 3,100 acres of coffee. So at 3,100 acres, we're the largest single coffee farm in the United States, certainly within the state. And we represent, uh, on any given year, about a third of the U.S. production. Sustainability is a big thing for this company. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys have going on? So we began uh, heavily working down the sustainability road about six years ago. We knew that we needed to do things environmentally, but then we learned that sustainability has more to do with our community, has more to do with how our employees uh, are, are treated, and it has to do with how uh, our customers view our brand. We believe that uh, having these sustainability certifications on our package will help to bring awareness to customers about our commitment to resource conservation and giving back to our community. We're an authentically local company with a traceable product right back to our trees right here, uh, verified by third parties uh, with our, our commitment to trying to do our best for our land and our resources. Fred, what are some of the sustainability practices that are part of the, the production process? Treating the soil well, and as you can see where we're standing, we've got ground cover, uh, we eliminate erosion, we're using less pesticides, we're actually restricted as to what we can and can't use, reusing our pulp to reduce our fertilizer input. Basically everything we can do to make the trees healthier, stronger, and beyond that make our team healthier and stronger. And with all that being said and all the things that, that are going on, that means you need people to help out and work too, don't you? What's pretty exciting is that we have had a phenomenal rate of growth over the past several years. With that growth comes more of a need for, for good, good people to come and, and join our employee, Ohana. It's not just a farm. It's, it's technical jobs. It's precision agriculture. It's moving into robotics and drone use. Uh, obviously, uh, marketing and other sales activities are absolutely key to our brand's growth. And we're very fortunate we have a fantastic team that does all of our pieces. I saw a couple of interesting things that I'd be that I'd love to jump in and do. You guys uh, take me to a couple of the spots? Absolutely. You ready to get to work? Uh, uh, you know, I'm ready to drink coffee. If <laughs> All that's right. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> I got scolded a few times, but it was all right. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I actually, took out a tree. It's like I, I, I think I did. Tree. I, that's not. Did I really? Yeah. Uh oh. I busted a tree, but how did I do as far as uh, the fruit? Well, compared to somebody picking by hand, you got about as much fruit as somebody would get in three days. Three days. Okay. In 20 minutes. And how often does a tree go down like that? Never. Never. Very Except seldom. for today. Except for today. Yeah, and we're, we've got a very aggressive uh, nursery program, and eventually we're going to start replanting. And we got a very aggressive insurance policy, so hopefully that will, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, John, I apologize for the rooster, but we saved the best for last. Perfect. Uh, how do you normally drink your coffee? Uh, with a lot of creamer. Okay. Well, I'm going to see if I can break you of that by te telling you exactly what you're tasting okay. and let you begin to enjoy that. How's Just that? Right. Okay. All right. Three different varieties of our coffee here. Four, actually. This is what you see in the supermarkets. So this is available only online. And this was roasted today, by the way. Okay. Uh, and then we've got some Blue Mountain, which is the, the most special coffee we have. That never makes it to a store. It only goes out online, and it's available here at our farm. 
Okay. That's actually where we cup for quality is at, at the medium rose. So medium and light is where the characteristics of the coffee come out. So take a big sniff. Big sniff. Okay. That's actually giving you the aroma. If we were cupping for score, we'd actually be smelling the grounds and scoring that as well. Okay. So w instead of drinking it, I'm going to have you slurp it. Teasing me. Okay. Yeah. Slurp. 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 Okay. So swirl it a little bit. Okay, swirling. We're actually cooling the coffee. The taste profile changes as it cools. One okay. more time. Slur I'm slurping. Yep, slurping. slurping. We're slurping. You taste the difference in the temperature. You yep. taste the difference in the profile. Slurping again? However you like it at this point. I'm liking it. I want to say thank you for uh, having me down here. No, we can't do that. Trying your coffee. <laughs> and... Uh, this was great. Somebody wants to know a little bit more about Kauai Coffee. How do they do they go to the online? How do they find you? KauaiCoffee.com. There you go. Easy. Thank you, Fred. You're welcome. I am seriously craving some Kauai coffee right now. That is if they can harvest them at all with John. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Occupational he, hazard. <laughs> yeah. He knocked a tree down. And they're like, oh, it's probably three days worth of coffee. I know. Oh, uh, our little Johnny. That was so fun. Um, I don't like coffee, but I will drink that. <laughs> I, I feel like. If Johnny helped make it, then I'll, I'll drink it for sure. Oh, so much <laughs> fun over there. And there are a lot of jobs, a lot of yeah. great companies. So check it out. You know, we want to give a big shout out to one of Kauai's employee companies, mm. employees. That's Alfred J. Medeiros. Freddie has been Kauai Coffee Company since, at Kauai Coffee Company since 1970. Wow. Back when the farm was producing sugar cane. Okay, we have some fun facts about Freddie. He was an avid hunter. He was also a competitive fast pitch softball pitcher until his late 60s. Cool. Wow, and these days he tends to his pig farm with his wonderful wife, Helena. Or Helena. He was an avid hunter. Hunter's Union. That's right. <laughs> the softball. Don't mess with him. And it's in his 60s. How old is he now? He looks amazing. Yeah, he looks 21. I guess the key is to drink coffee and do a job that you love. Exactly. Yeah, and don't cut down the trees. Okay. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs>